This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only and anything I say in my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. It mainly gives a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, we have another letter that was put on the docket by the courts. It's from Michael Bojic. I hope I'm pronouncing your name properly. And he is another retail investor that is down significantly because of the fraud and corruption in the AMC play. And he writes that the lack of transparency regarding the trading activity surrounding AMC has hindered efforts to uncover the full extent of the potential market manipulation and access to blue sheet data from FINRA is crucial in understanding the dynamics of the market and ensuring accountability for any wrongdoing. Okay, Mr. Bojic has lost a lot of money because of the fraud and corruption in the AMC play. He lost a lot of money because these bad actors conspired together, a RICO conspiracy that I've been calling it for the last two and a half years. They have conspired together to rob retail investors, and we are sick and tired of it, and we want to put a face to the corruption so the courts know this isn't a crime with no victims. Furthermore, he said, entities like Citadel, which act as both hedge fund and a market maker, raise significant concerns about conflicts of interest. Their dual role allows them to potentially profit from both sides of a trade, creating incentives that may not always align with the best interests of retail investors like myself. The conflict of interest exacerbates the challenges faced by individual investors in navigating the financial markets fairly. It is imperative that the court recognize the collective harm inflicted upon investors by these uncertain market conditions. Justice must be served to ensure transparency and accountability in the financial system restoring faith in its integrity. Listen, you guys keep the letters coming. If you feel that you were harmed by the fraud and corruption in the AMC play, it is great to let the courts know it puts a human face on the fraud and corruption in the market and let the courts know that we are sick and tired of all the fraud and corruption by these RICO conspiracy guys, okay? They sit around in their high towers. They create counterfeit AMC shares. They short them into the market to manipulate the price. And then they put out these, these papers with $65 billion in shares sold, not yet purchased. Yet with creative accounting, they made money for the year. Anybody can make money if they can sell $65 billion of something they never paid for. Anybody could make money. That's not smart money. That is criminal money. That is the rules of bet in our favor money. And even with all the benefits that these bad actors have, they still have to cheat us to win. Even with all the rules bent in their favor. Anyway, thank you for writing this letter. It helps all retail investors as the letters come in and I get them from the courts. I will do a video on individual letters. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.